Good evening. So, what no one tells you about Ashland. It's the cutest little town. You know what? It reminds me of the town I grew up in, Canandaigua, New York. Um, well, Canandaigua was smaller, but Ashland is similar in that uh, there's wine wineries here, lots of trees, parks. I went to the swimming hole today. That was fun. And dipped in. Um, and even without the Shakespeare Festival, see, Ashland became known for the Shakespeare Festival. 400,000 people are not coming this year. Yay! It's okay with me. Now, it has affected commerce, and the people that were easily making money every day um, with their fancy B&Bs and Airbnb and hotels and stuff, they had to switch to 30-day rentals. Oh, boo-hoo. Um, you know, they've got to be realistic like the rest of us. So, um, that hasn't been pretty, but you know what? That's the way it shakes out. You know, even the millionaires are trying to get by. So, something that people don't know is that deer walk the streets. So that's why a lot of gardens are fenced in because people don't want deer eating their vegetables and flowers, which is interesting. So I'm out for my 8.30 p.m. walk. And another thing people don't know is there's all these cute little alleys. Cute, huh? Like a real small town in the middle of wine country. There's a gorgeous dog park. Wolf, my son and I had a lovely time over there with Callie running. She was so happy. And um, what else don't you know? I don't think you know about that swimming hole at the top of Lithia Park. So if you want to go swimming there, you better come now because it gets lower and lower. See, there's a deer now. See that deer over there? See it? There you go. I can't. There it is. Well, I can't go closer. Anyway, the deer aren't even afraid. Uh, lots of happy dogs here. Lots of trees here. Oh, and listen, there's so many hot springs. Um, there's even a hot spring in Ashland, Jackson Hot Springs, but it's not open yet. I'm getting excited about that. Very easy to ride your bike here. Um, very easy to get fresh vegetables and fruit. Hi. And the other thing, too, is that it's a very um, safe place to live. Of course, you might have already known that, but I'm loving Oregon. So, if you have any questions about Ashland, Oregon, let me know down below. I'll see you in the next video. 